Have you ever gone to the tailors and wonder what exactly should I ask them to have that perfectly sharp cut suit? This is actually a problem that a lot of men have to face when it's their first time visiting a tailor. So today we're gonna to talk about the six points you're going to wanna focus on when you just bought your first new off the rack suit and you're gonna take it to your tailor. What to ask them and what to look for. So first, let's start from the top down. The first thing with most off the rack suits that you wanna get right from the get-go is the shoulders and I'm sure you've heard of that because that's one of the most expensive things to tailor. You want to make sure your shoulders fit properly and from there most things can be tailored at a reasonable cost if it's not excessive. So the first thing once you get the shoulders right you're going to want to ask your tailor to fix the midsection of your suit jacket. This is usually the part where most men look blocky. Keep in mind on a suit your ideal image is that upside down V and that's what you want to get. So the way you do that is by having a midsection that is snug. If your suit jacket that you bought does not have front darts, that's something you might want to ask your tailor to implement. So when you go in, the first thing you ask is to taper your midsection. One thing that a lot of tailors do is that they will stand you up in front of a mirror and they're going to start pinning you in the back. This is something you want to see because it's perfect to test out how the suit's going to fit. While you want to make sure it's snug, you want to make sure it's also not tight. You can do something called the hug test. So once the tailor has you pinned, act as if you're going to hug somebody. If you can't hug somebody comfortably, then that suit fits you too tight and ask him to loosen it up a bit. Once you have that down, you're going to want to move to the jacket sleeves. This is something also that's very important and a lot of people get wrong, especially off the rack. On your jacket, you're going to want to have a fourth to half an inch of your sleeve showing as you always see me in my videos. This is kind of like the pocket square for your wrist. That little shirt contrast goes a long way on your suit and you want to make sure you get it right. So if your suit is too long, you want to make sure you ask your tailor to fix your sleeves to the point where you can see a fourth to half an inch of your shirt cuff. So now you have your suit jacket, it fits perfectly, let's move down to the pants. Like I said, most off the rack clothing is for the masses, so it's not going to fit everyone perfectly. And the waist is one of the, those big issues that many people have problems with. So for your waist, you've heard it before, you want it to be snug to a point where you really don't even need a belt and your pants stay up. This is something important that you want to get right. A good tip you can do is you should be able to comfortably fit one finger inside of your waist. Other than that, it should be snug enough that's going to keep your shirt tucked in. Next, it's the slim pant. Usually, if you buy a slim fit pant, it'll be nice and trimmed all the way down. This is the fourth point you're going to want to focus on. If it's not, you're going to want to start from the top of your thigh and ask your tailor to pin you down all the way to the bottom of the pant to the leg opening and slim down or taper what they call your whole leg. This is another important part where you're going to want to stand in front of a mirror and ask him to pin you all the way down. This will show you exactly how the pants are going to fit once they're completely tailored. The next thing you want to focus on, if you don't need to slim down the whole pant, is tapering the, the bottom. You've seen a lot of my trousers, a lot of my trousers are nicely tapered. Tapering your bottom is going to display the beauty of your shoe, that, that's why I love to have a tapered pant. The pant usually ends right on top of my shoe and when it's tapered, it enhances the beauty of the shoe. Whereas when you have a big, let's say 18 inch opening, it kind of engulfs the shoe and that's something you don't want. So make sure you get the bottom tapered and then the final one that you're going to want to get and probably the most important for pants is the hem length or the outseam length. This is another thing where a tailor will stand you up in front of a mirror and bring up the pants and pin them up to the point that you like them and where they, you want them to stop. Some people like a full break, some people like a medium break. Me personally, I like no break. Most tutorialists like the whole no break look. It's kind of an Italian tradition. So if you like that type of look, you would ask your tailor you want a trouser with no break you obviously want to go in with a nice pair of shoes or the shoes you plan to wear your suit with and that way the tailor can pin up the suit and give you an idea of where it's going to stop. Then obviously it's just leaving the suit with your tailor and letting him take care of his job. This process obviously will take a while so you want to make sure you go to the tailors ready to be there for a good you know 20 or 30 minutes if you're going to be tailoring a full suit. You're also going to want to wear a dress shirt and like I said the shoes that you, you plan on wearing the suit with because this will be better to give you an idea how the suit's going to look. So that's basically how you, I talk to my tailor and the six points I usually used to focus on when I had an off the rack suit. Same thing goes obviously if you're just you, taking a blazer or you're just taking pants. Those six points you just split them up. Three are basically for the blazer and three are for the pants. So if you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful, remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. If you liked it, hit up the like up button. We put out two videos every week. Thank you guys for watching.